It's a wonderful day guys. Nandito tayo today sa Suzuki Marikina to review the all new Chimney 5 door. And bibigay ko sa inyo kung ano yung 10 dislikable features na nakita ko sa 2024 Suzuki Jimny 5 door. Suzuki Jimny has a rich history behind it. It started in 1973 and it sold very well in Japan and even outsold the first Jeep which was a Mitsubishi Jeep. In 1975, the Suzuki Jimny 55 was improved and the spare tire was placed at the back area. The hard top naman was placed during the 1979 SJ20 version. Throughout the years in 1981, the second generation SJ30, you can see a slimmer version. While in 1995, the coil springs edition was made and it sold very well and especially in the city. In 1998, the third generation was launched, JB23, and we can see a smoother, more conducive for city driving. On April 21, 2007, Suzuki Jimny made international headlines by setting a new world record in the highest altitude attained by a four-wheeler vehicle, in turn beating the Jeep. Its modified Suzuki Samurai version made by the two Chilean record holders is now the inspiration of the fourth generation Suzuki Jimny. On January 2023 naman, Suzuki released the long wheelbase five-door version of the Jimny. This is based on the Shera version using the emission compliant 1.5 liter K15B engine. Suzuki Jimny has three variants. All of these are 4x4s and all of these are also gas. The manual transmission variant is around 1,558,000 and an additional 70,000 for Visayas and Mindanao. The 5-door 1.5 GLX automatic version is 1,698,000 plus 70,000 for Visayas and Mindanao. And the top of the line, two-tone gas automatic transmission, still at a 1.5 liter engine, is 1,708,000 plus 70,000 for Visayas and Mindanao. Number 10 on my dislike is the price. This is a heavily taxed car. Why? Because whether brand new or used, purchase or donated, the imported vehicle is subject to 40% customs duty, 10% VAT, and add valorem tax from 15% to 100% depending on its piston displacement. Its book value serves as the tax and not the purchase price nor the acquisition cost. Number 9 on my dislikable feature, the spare tire, seems to be unsecured. Madaling baklasin, madaling i-unscrew, which requires you to either buy the OEM tire cover or you need to park your Jimny inside a and closed parking space. Number eight on my dislikable feature, the tires are not R18, not R17, nor R16. It is only a 195 by 80 R15. So, if you are used to bigger tires, this is kind of small for the Jimny. My seventh most dislikable feature is the small 1.5 liter K15B engine. At 1.7 million, Pwede na tayo makabili ng pickup na 4x4 automatic engine with a 2.4 liter engine. So this is a 4x4 vehicle, the 100 horsepower and the 130 newton meters of torque seems to be just similar to a sedan car.
That was number 6, uh, the torque similar to a sedan car. My number 5 most dislikable feature is that the bumper and fender flares are hard plastics only. Though it is reinforced by metal, inside it is mostly hard plastic. If you like my content, please click that subscribe button, comment, and hit that notification bell. Please support my channel by also not skipping the ads. Thank you. Number 4 on my dislikes is the learning curve for one additional stick shift. Modern cars as of 2024 are releasing the 4x4 and 4x2 knobs instead of the stick shift. The Suzuki Jimny still has the 4x4, 4x2 switch in stick shift. The third most dislikable feature is the small driver and passenger seats. Nung umupo ako sa Jimny, medyo uncomfortable ako. Uh, I am 5 feet 8 inches tall. And the average Japanese uh, height is around 5 feet 7 inches tall. And I think that is the ideal height or size of a person to ride this car. If you are bigger than 5 feet 7 then this will be very crank and small space for you. The most dislikable feature is the seating capacity of only four persons. Even at this improvement of being a five-door chimney, the seating capacity did not increase. It is still for seating capacity. Here are the other good features of the Suzuki Jimny 5-door. For the manual and automatic transmission, it is both having a 9-inch touchscreen with clinometer automatic lamps only for the automatic version dual airbags for both electronic stability program for both fabric seats for both headlamps halogen multi-reflector for the manual and headlamps for the automatic both having hill descent control and hill hold control and the number one most dislikable feature I found is that the fuel tank capacity is only 40 liters. The same as a sedan car similar to a Honda Civic and Toyota Vios. Having a 40 liter engine is not advisable for long trips, long travels, off-roading, and being where areas in areas where there are limited number of gas stations. This wraps up our review on the new 5-door Suzuki Jimny. And th those are the 10 most dislikable features or mga features na nakukulangan ako sa bagong Suzuki Jimny na 5 door If you like my content please click that subscribe button comment and hit that notification bell Please support my channel by also not skipping the ads Thank you